um, it's been it's been a, a, a little bit since we had a, a moments, right? We we took like a little break. Yeah. <laughs> it's been like at least a week, right? Yeah, it's definitely. Oh, I think so. <laughs> so we're happy to be back with another moments with Epic, and today we're joined by the amazing Hannah Schaefer. Is Schaefer right? That's yeah, that's right. Yep, Schaefer. That's got right. It, got it. Got it. Something like Schaefer or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, know. I wish it was that cool. <laughs> that that would be really funny if if Charlie was just like Hannah Schaefer, right? And you're like, um, no. <laughs> 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 I'm like, it's Chef, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. That would be, you should have just done that. You should have just no, done that. I could never do that. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> it would be so cultured. Um, yeah, anyway, I think it would have been really cool. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so today we're joined by Hannah, and we're so happy to have Hannah with us because uh, honestly, uh, I, I love your music. Um, mm. I was listening to it, and 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 it's it's crazy because it's 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 and, and we're talking about before we went live. It's it's like we have kind of like that 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 similar vibe going on. So it, it's it's so great to like kind of like meet up and actually because we never actually met before. So it's the first time that we're meeting and we're going live together, and it, it's just happening. It's happening. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think as as uh, creatives, we're we're kind of. I don't want to say like adrenaline junkies and like adventure people. So it's like, yes. why not? Like, <laughs> the first time on live, like, it's great. Amen. That's, it. yep. that's what we got to do. We got to put ourselves out there like that. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. 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 So before we get started, um, Hannah, how, how about you introduce yourself and just talk a little bit about your ministry and, and uh, how you got into it? Cool. Awesome. So, hi, everybody. Um, super excited to be hanging out with Epic tonight. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, it's a not, I guess, I guess my story, uh, I do Christian pop music, love pop music just in general. I've always loved pop music. I think I was really introduced to, uh, to pop music when I was in middle school. And that was like during the era of Lady Gaga's paparazzi and bad romance and like, <laughs> Mm. Katy Perry's teenage dream. Like I just, yes. there was something so magical about these dreamy scents that I had never experienced before and because I grew up listening to my dad's eighties music and whatever cassette tape my mom had in the car. Right. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the music genre wise, like that's, that's something that was really uh, powerful to me when I was a kid, just cause I love the sound, but the heart behind my music is obviously um, very much for the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, um, I fell in love intimately with Jesus when I was about 13 years old. I had known Jesus. I grew up cradle Catholic and knew Jesus to be my friend my whole life. But um, it wasn't really until I started struggling with um, self-worth and losing friends oh, and yeah entering high school like for a 13 year old you know looking back now i'm like ah 13 like how could the world be coming to an end at 13 you know but i felt so alone and so abandoned um when i just thought that i lost my best friends because i i um i just felt the world was pulling me one way and the church and our faith the faith that i had always known and grown to love was pulling me the other way right. and i and i was like at its crossroads and i just didn't know what to do, and so it was in that in that space of of loneliness and depression and fear and just like low self loathing that yeah. I, I came to know Jesus in a way that I mean he was just he was everything he was the the breath of in every day he was the the sunrise the the reason to get out of bed. Oh, wow. He went like, and, and I just, after experiencing that as a 13, 14 year old, I just realized, I'm like, you know what? Um, you know, this world is a very scary, dangerous place. It hurts, mm -hmm. but there is still so much beauty here. There's still so much that we are called to do together that yeah. we, um, like that, that there's so much more of a need for Jesus here. Mm -hmm. And I decided then that like, if, if I was 
if I, I, I guess I wasn't like a moment where I'm like, oh, I'm doing Christian music. Not, not then. I was still a little torn inside, but I turned to music as my outlet, as like yeah. a way to, to get all the, the, the hurt out. And so, but even then, like as I was going through things, like I was writing, it was, they were Christian music. Like I didn't know I was writing Christian music, but it was mm. Christian music. And, <laughs> and so, uh, I guess this is a long explanation, guys, but. Oh, but, great. You're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So as I got older and I really started to pursue, um, I mean, my, both my parents were in the medical field, so I didn't, I, I didn't think music would like doing music as a career was a real thing until I was older. And I literally heard the voice of God, like mm -hmm. say, hey, no, like, cause I, I had a scholarship to college. I worked really hard to get into this college. And then wow. I was like, "Ooh, I think God's telling me not to go. And I think he's telling me to pursue Christian music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and then, um, you know, the the rest is kind of is kind of history. I just wanted to combine the two things that I love the most in my life, which was music and God, and that's. Yeah. Amen. What I'm well, doing. well, thank you so much. Can I just say thank you so much for for being vulnerable with us and being vulnerable with all our listeners and whatnot. And um, I think that's something that we probably share in common. You know, all us as a voice in us as like we always try to get into the nitty gritty of of like the real true issues, like. We talk, yeah. we talk we talk about depression and anxiety and, and mental health issues all the time within mm -hmm. like our ministry and um, a lot of people have uh i think there's a there's a quote that says he takes our trouble and he turns it into testimony or something like that um mm -hmm. something like that and i might have been butchering it but but <laughs> that, I got your point. yeah right it's to that effect and so the idea is right like the things that we've gone through um, he uses those, you know, God works everything for good. We, we are convicted of that. And that's in scripture, obviously, but, you know, we've been able to share our testimonies, um, you know, uh, about mental health and, and trying to work, um, and help people through our music, um, to be able to give them a light, um, at the end of the tunnel, because we've received that light in the, in the form of Jesus Christ, like you said. And, um, and it's been able to be really beautiful. Like a lot of people have come up to us after, um a worship night or so and being like thank you for talking about this like this is like what yeah. i'm going through you know and it's so important that we do talk about those like they'll have those tough conversations but like you know like it's important you know what i mean because uh, people are really going through this stuff you know yeah. and um and so that's been such a beautiful part and i'm sure that's a beautiful part of your ministry as well mm -hmm. um is being able to share your testimony with people um and having that be just a a like and it just it's just such a so inspirational uh, to see how Jesus works in our lives and works everything for good and takes it the broken and then turns it into something beautiful. Wow. Amen. Amen to that. It's oh, it's so true. You know, I you know, just you hearing you say that, it, it just reminded me that I I didn't even know I was I was so like I'm a very joyful person. Yeah. So a lot like even in the brokenness and in the hurting, I'm trying to like be happy you know mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. and, and that i think my my freshman year of high school was just hard it was so hard mm -hmm. oh my gosh it was so hard because all i wanted to do was sing and you know, i was like oh i felt like i had lost everything that i loved all at once like all my best friends and like you know i'm you know whoever i was dating at the time i don't even know like just like everything just like crumbled in a moment and it really took it took a while for for that pain to go away and mm -hmm. like it took even longer for um the process of forgiveness mm -hmm. and the yeah. rebuilding of the image that christ sees me as oh, and oh. the way that i saw myself mm -hmm. you know it, it took a long time to, to to break the mirror that i saw and to re put it back together the way that jesus saw me. Mm. And um, it's like, I, I didn't even know, and I, I like don't want to make it sound dramatic, but like I didn't even know until after I was done with school, just how unhappy I had been in school. Mm. Mm. Like, like when, when suddenly I could just actually focus on music all the time and Jesus all the time and like go work at, I worked a job at a, a barista, like I was saving every penny I could so that someday I could move to Nashville. And mm. so mm. I would wake up at four in the morning go to the shop, open the shop, work all my hours, come home, go babysit, come home, sleep, 
and do it all over again with music in the middle somehow, you know, just like trying. <laughs> right. I was, I was happier even then, like, than I had been in school mm-hmm. because mm. in school I just felt so <clears throat> like, yeah. like put in a box. box that, <laughs> hence some of the, the lyrics on my album. <laughs> like, <laughs> put me in a box. Like I just, Telling me who it was what I'm not. like I just felt yeah. so crap. Come on. <laughs> and, and um but but yeah, so then it was like after after like I just started leaning into so here's here's the uplifting part. When I started leaning into that truth, started leaning into whatever Jesus was calling me to do, like I knew without a doubt, like in my heart, okay, God, you gave me this gift. I believe that whatever you're gonna do with it, like you know, let, let it, let the fruit grow, let the fruit grow. I, I love this gift. I want to do it. And I mean, um, it was just, I just, I just needed to lean into it. And there was so much peace. Mm. There was so much peace that mm. came from being obedient, you know, even in the, even in the fear, like a huge part of, of my testimony is also, you know, just jumping out into that leap of faith and trusting God because mm. I w- I'm the oldest of three, I guess. Yeah, me, my my brother, and my sister. So there's just three of us, and um, and I am also very like I want to be a leader. I want to be a a person of example, like just very like. So the idea of me not going to college was almost impossible for my brain to wrap around mm-hmm. when God introduced it to me. I was like, um, no, I have to show my siblings that this is what a good person does. Like, this is like, I have to, my parents are expecting this of me. Um, you know, everybody like, you know, that this, this reputation type thing was weighed so heavy on my life for so long. Wow. It's kind of like the, 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 what society expects of you. And then, you know, when God puts something in your heart, sometimes, I mean, when God puts something in your heart, sometimes it's against the current. Like he doesn't. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so um, it's 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 it, it can be scary. Um, and I know for a lot of us, it's, it's it's been the same. Like sometimes, and sometimes you get to those points where you're like, man, like am I am I really in the yeah. place that I should be? You know. Mm. Uh, but then God always comes through and always like, no, you're good, you're good. Just trust me, you're good. <laughs> Yeah. And, and it's so true. And there are so many different seasons of life that he takes you. You know, it's mm-hmm. like some seasons are heavier and darker than others. But right. sometimes, you know, yeah. we're, we're in really pleasant seasons where it's like, oh, I see you, Jesus. I'm like, you know, on the beach with you. <laughs> we're hanging out. It's a great season. And then sometimes yeah. it's like you're in the ocean and you're drowning. And you're like, mm-hmm. ah, save me. I know you're there. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, I, I, something that I've learned that, um, especially during this time of quarantine, I've just been going into scripture, and, um, you know, and I've been reading a, a lot of obviously, well, Paul, uh, he's been really on my heart. And something that he says and he talks about a lot is like embracing the suffering, rejoicing in the suffering, mm-hmm. delighting in the suffering, even. And um, he talks about how it produces um, endurance, which produces hope and produces character. I remember the order of it, but <laughs> that's I think it's like Romans five or something like that. And it's, but that's, and that's such a, um, important thing for us to embrace, um, as Christians, as, as, as those that, that are trying to unite our hearts with that of Christ, right. We try mm-hmm. to unite our sufferings with that of Christ as well, you mm-hmm. know? So, um, so being able to embrace the suffering, being able to delight in the suffering at times, even though it sounds weird and it sounds like masochistic and it sounds just like, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. But, yeah. but it's like, I think that's also something that's so beautiful about this faith is that like, if you're not raised up in it and you step back, it's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like a man rose from the dead. <laughs> I mean that's one thing, and then yeah. all of them just, it itself, <laughs> like right, <For> real. <laughs> mysteries. It's it's like well, what, <laughs> but but it's like undeniable truth, and and like I, I mean you when when you do experience that peace, and you do experience what it's like. I mean I love reading the Diary of Saint Faustina because mm. her suffering, like 
her yeah. ability to suffer for people and the stories of, you know, the spirits that ha- visited her yeah. that had been yeah. in purgatory mm-hmm. that were like suffering and she like offered up sacrifice, like, you know, self like pain, you know, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. to them, like offered up, you know, some comforts and things for, for the repose of their souls. And then for them to like come back and thank her. I'm like, this is real stuff. This happened. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is crazy, but it's but it's not. It's like mm-hmm. if the world, if 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 people could just, we will never fully understand like the the spiritual realm. Like we will never fully understand God, but like if we know, it, it, we we come to know Him through Him who through His Son, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, through His Son's humanity and yeah. through mm-hmm. His sacrifice and His love, and it's just undeniable, mm-hmm. absolutely undeniable. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit is here, guys. That wasn't me. <laughs> well, that's what we really say, and we really b- truly believe it. And we, you know, there, there's a scripture that says, "Where two or more, other, more are, where two or more are gathered in His name, He is present." And we've mm-hmm. been saying that every single time we do a live stream, um, we mm-hmm. believe His presence is here. The Holy Spirit is present, even across distance, even across virtual means. Yeah. Um, he is very evident in the air. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. It's palpable. So yeah, no, but you're you're speaking some major truth there, and that, that's why we love to do this too, because to, to give people an encouraging word. They're probably tired of hearing our voices, you know what I mean? But if they hear, <laughs> yeah, if, sure. they hear <laughs> if they hear oh. yours, then the, you know it might be able to speak some some beauty into their life and some some truth into their life. So mm-hmm. um, that's why we love doing this, you know, right now. And so, um, so now, oh. Uh, well, it, it, I, I, I don't, I've never known how, like, because we've already gotten to a point, and we were discussing it earlier, that we kind of, like, I mean, life is not normal yet, but it's um, it's kind of getting there a little bit, maybe like a 30%, 40%. <laughs> mm. um, Better every day. <laughs> baby like, steps. Can I, go, <laughs> can I go shopping yet? Can I? <laughs> I won't even buy anything. I just want to walk around. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Right. But how 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 has the whole experience been for you? Like how um being in indoors for so long, like how how has that been for you? How has God has uh been talking to you through that time, you know? Wow. Wow, yeah. Um I have a I have a lot of joy and I have a lot of faith when it comes to to the Lord and his promises um which is is just a, a blessing to myself because i it it it's like when i start to slip and when i start to to not be myself my husband has been reminding me you know like mm-hmm. what's wrong you know tell me tell me what's wrong and i'm like i don't know i'm trying to figure it out you know it's like oh i realize um i like not going to mass like physically to mm. receive the was the like I don't think I've cried so hard in my life. Mm-hmm. Like and and it wasn't until then that I realized just how I don't want to say that I had taken him for granted, but like mm-hmm. just like an expectation that oh yeah, like every week I I can receive the God of the universe. Come on, Amen. the God of the universe can like like that's just a normal thing. Yeah, on basis, you know. And then it's like when that was taken away, I was just an utter wreck, utter wreck. Mm. Like, I didn't know how to, I'm like, oh, oh wow. A lot of my humanity really started like coming out and in the yeah. world, <laughs> um, like, as my husband could probably attest to you. Oh man, there was just a lot of, of needed grace. <laughs> he's, wow. he's standing over here he's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, um, it's it's been but it's also been very good because it allowed uh, my life actually got busier as mm. as mm. things progress because um i've been doing a lot of virtual online concerts mm-hmm. and that takes up a lot of time and then mm-hmm. i also work i mean i work from home i um do a lot of things like you know just i i actually my life got busier while while a lot of people's lives were slowing down mm-hmm. um I actually didn't have a lot of events planned during COVID, so I I, I think I, only, I, ha- I didn't have as many cancellations as some other musicians. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, 
but but in other areas it picked up you know so mm -hmm. right uh, yeah yeah so i didn't have really had a chance to slow down like mm. other but my husband has been home mm. and that is something that has never happened in our like i we i dated him for seven years before we mm -hmm. got married so <laughs> so and and like a lot of all of that was my long distance <laughs> yeah oh my gosh yeah, that's no. awesome that's so good Ooh, yeah he's he's uh he's 11 saint he's 11 saint <laughs> <laughs> I strive to be as cool-headed as him, man. Shout out to Mr. Schaefer. He's <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, uh he's great, but um, no. So so him being home was like the first time that we've ever been around each other twenty-four-seven ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because when we got married, he'd go off to work and yeah. then he'd come home at night, and like there was, I mean. And that was, but, but yeah, so it's, it's a beautiful season of getting to love each other in a different way. Like, you know, let, of, of like more servant, like mm -hmm. servant's heart. I've, I've gotten to ex experiment with the servant's heart more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Um, kind of just go and, and pray together. Like we, we, we've been praying a lot more together and diving mm -hmm. into like making morning meditation together important. And then, um, you know, really getting into, uh, I mean, cause I mean, Lent, Lent was the Lentiest Lent ever. <laughs> <laughs> the Lentiest Lent. Oh Lent. yeah. Oh man. And like talk about oh, suffering. Man. I mean, I, I really, that's yeah. kind of pathetic to really say <laughs> considering that Jesus died on the cross for us suffering. Yeah. Yeah. We, like, we unite our suffering with his. Totally. Totally. Yes. Oh, yes. So, like COVID, and I think the hardest part was the beginning with Lent, like because my husband and I did a pretty um, intense. Like we we did it. We did a really like he was on Exodus, the program Exodus. Ooh, I don't know if you've heard of Exodus. No way. So are we, Ricky and I. Yeah, we just finished up on Pentecost. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so cool. Wow, so you guys know. <laughs> yeah, no, everything you were saying about like Lentius Lent, I'm like, yeah, we're feeling <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wow, oh my gosh. That's we got to talk to him after this. We got to talk to him after this. Oh, for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you totally should. Oh, he's so great. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, and you guys would love him. He's, he's awesome. But like this was, and, and the, see, like him, yeah, he would never say this, but like, he was doing doing he this was this was his third time doing Exodus. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah, and he, he did it with a group of guys that like requested, like, hey, I really want to do this. Will you do this with me? So like talk about servant's heart. I'm like, you're gonna you're gonna take cold showers <laughs> for 90 days for someone else. Like <laughs> not even for yourself. Like like I mean it's obviously it's purifying him in in, in ways, yeah, but like absolutely. It was for other, like, I don't know. Anyhow, I love him a lot. <laughs> awesome. he, he, he teaches wow. me a lot about all the things I need to continue to work on mm -hmm. myself. He's the other, the, yeah, anyhow. Or I get all snappy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a beautiful know. thing, honestly. Like, it's that kind of love that, like, like in serving others, there's that dying to self that, like, I know at least for me like I've been working on a lot during this quarantine season and and even now as we're like reopening and and trying to transition into some sort of normal normalcy normality whatever the word is for that yeah, yeah. and it's like um at least we've been talking about it a lot during this quarantine with different groups that we've talked to different artists that we've talked to um of living out that calling to like first being still and knowing who God is mm -hmm. and also and by extension, you know, knowing who we are and whose we are, you know, and being able to like cultivate that intimacy with him, that love with him in order to be able to share that with the people around us, especially wherever, you know, wherever it might be needed in the world, because a lot of times, and I think that's a beautiful thing about like us as creatives, you know, a lot of times there are people that have heard their, about God their whole lives, but they don't know God, you know? So it's yeah. like, sometimes there's always a chance where, um, us as creatives, or even if we're talking, if we're just meeting somebody on the street, maybe at a grocery store or something like that, mm -hmm. there's a chance that that's the only gospel they're going to receive, at least in that day where you're encountering that person. Yeah. You know, so for us to have that, 
to be able to live with that uh, openness of heart, that joy, like what you were talking about earlier, yeah. like yeah. to be able to share that with others, like that's huge. That's 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 the light that Jesus is talking about for us to not hide in a bushel, but to put it out on a stand for all to see. Well, you know, like, yeah. kick it off. <laughs> <laughs> It's that sacrificial love, not like my, uh, a good friend of ours, Nico, always says, like, uh, make sure your love is sacrificial, not artificial. Mm, and yeah. it's, it's real, and it's it's real, and and you and you going back to what you were talking about before, um, and taking for granted the mass, and like really, yeah. like, re having that reminder that like literally heaven is touching earth, and we take it for granted every single week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and if you happen to go to daily mass, like that's a beautiful thing, uh -huh. but. You know, for, Part of us, you know, we get to mass, you know, once a week, and we take that hour for granted. We're literally we are witnessing heaven touching earth, and we are becoming a part of that sacrifice, right? Mm -hmm. That sacrificial love, um, mm -hmm. over and over and over again, right? But mm -hmm. um, something like this, I really think, and I really, we we really talked about it a lot. How we believe that the Lord is really purifying His body right now, you know, refining the body, refining the hands and feet, mm -hmm. so that we really minister in a new, more alive way, more alive way than we ever have. And part of that is really reminding us of the power of this intimacy with him in the mass, in our daily um, worship, you know, with yeah. him, you yeah. know, going to our secret place on a daily basis, re yeah. like, delving into scripture and doing whatever it is um, that mm -hmm. we're doing to unite our hearts more intimately with him. Right. I, I think this is a beautiful opportunity for that. Honestly, obviously, there's a lot of pain going on in the world. Um, there still mm -hmm. is right now. Um, and we have to acknowledge that, obviously, but the, the beauty is that God works everything for good, and we're firm believers mm -hmm. in that, you know? Yeah. So I, I really believe this whole time, this whole lockdown, he's been working for good in his body and throughout the world, you know? Um, yeah, that was beautiful. So good. So, Great. go! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... So we, we talked about a little bit of how like your, your experience has been um, through, you know, the quarantine and uh, all that stuff. And so like, also how, how has it been creative? Have you been able to like uh, write more songs? Did you have more time? I mean, you say you got busier, but yeah. um, how, how has that been? Like your creative process been through all of this? Has it helped? Has it maybe dwindled? Like. <laughs> Huh, that's a good question. So I wish I could tell you that like, I've been writing five songs a day, man. I've been writing five songs a day because I'm so bored, but like, no, I'm, <laughs> that's not true. So um, I do, um, I do, geez, I do a lot of, I'm also someone who does uh, vocal coaching. So mm, I, okay. so a lot of my student load picked up during the week mm -hmm. so in yeah. the time that i would have been creating i'm actually helping others um hone in on their gifts and mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. them how to get contemporary radio ready type vocals <laughs> uh, but but so no i actually i haven't written i mean i definitely have still been writing because i can't help it like i mm. have to i have to yeah. I'm, I'm a songwriter mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm a singer but i'm also a songwriter and so there's definitely been some 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 songs that came out have come out of um, this this season. I know I wrote a, a song with one of my really awesome girlfriends. Her name is Francesca Larosa. She's also another Catholic artist that is up and coming and mm. passionate about the Lord and awesome. and writes her own stuff. Nice. Yeah, she's great, and I should introduce you guys. But she yeah, um, <laughs> yeah definitely be about yeah yeah she's awesome. I'll. I'll do the thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been. I wrote a couple songs with her about this season, and um, but other than that, just a lot of things have been. I, I would say the creative juices have definitely been flowing, but they're they're getting more creative now that like the world is almost like mm -hmm. re reemerging. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. More servicing <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. um, we actually had a chance to write with a good buddy of yours, um, Joe Melendres, not, uh, not too long ago. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> oh, so great. Yeah. yeah, yeah luckily, we ended we, <laughs> we yeah. ended earlier because he was like, "Yo, I have a five a.m. Um, writing session." <laughs> yep. Yep. 
Wait, did you did you have a five a.m. writing session? No, he said that he said that he was having a five a.m. Uh, session with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, for all y'all listening, if you want to do music, like it's legit, man. <laughs> like you gotta hone on your skills. You gotta be working, and like mm. that means that the only time in the day that you can write is five a.m. <laughs> do it. Work, work. Hey. Make work. <laughs> it's been so funny because so like so many people we've been writing like we're straight night owls. Night owls. I'll speak mm -hmm. for the band. We're straight night owls. Um, and then so many of the people that we've been writing with, I've been like, how do you guys stay up so late? How do you? Da, da, da. And we're like, we're like, how do you get up at five a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you wake up. You say hi, Jesus, and you grab your coffee and you go. <laughs> I respect it. I respect That's a great it. way to start any day. <laughs> I can vibe with that. <laughs> uh, I, I'm lying, though. I don't get up at 5. That was him. So it's 8 a.m. my time. Oh, 7 a.m. Okay. Uh, makes sense. 5 yeah. a.m. his time. So. so I think we wrote with him at like 8 p.m. or something like that. And we were, we were here until like, for him, it was like until like 11 or – Maybe twelve for us. It was like two or three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's like what. But we didn't even like. We didn't even like. You know, like, that's a normal for us. I yeah. Really care. yeah. <laughs> what? Oh snap! Oh, you guys. I've always wished I was a night owl. I re because every single person I know in the music industry is a night owl. Like I don't even have to ask. I'm like. Okay, so I believe, I'm like, I'll wake up to the email, you know, like, like, it's never, it's never like, I don't even double check, like, hey, what, like, when are you going to send this over again? I'll be like, it's uh, 10 o'clock. Yeah, I'll probably have it in the morning. <laughs> it, got, it got to the point where we were writing with, I'm about to do some name drops. We were writing with Dana, Catherine, and we were writing with Ricky Vasquez and within the yeah. week. And they both happened to get on a live stream right after, and they're like, "Man, those epic the band people like they they stay awake." <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it got to that point. It got to that point. So it was. It was, it was yeah. Hey, you know that means it was a good live. Like. Yeah, that's oh, true. Totally. That's true. Totally. Shout us out real quick. So it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, well, then I guess that means we have to write next. Oh. Oh, absolutely. You heard it here first. Right. We should we should tell you that we actually but by the way, if you happen to want to uh you know reveal anything you're gonna be releasing, because it's funny because uh, basically <laughs> So many people that have come onto this little show that we do, the moments of epic, have like like revealed for the first time, like, oh, we're, I'm gonna really be releasing a single. So yeah, all the more project or whatever. So we're we decided, or we kind of have our like low key name of the show as you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> so oh, I'm man. Do anything. If I want to reveal anything, I don't. Uh, I don't. I mean. So okay, so the it's kind. This is yeah, kind of so. <laughs> so the songwriting competition that I posted about a couple couple weeks ago. Um, one of like my, my I have a song that came in second in the Christian category, and and that was mm. like such a god thing. Like, yeah. oh man, the the competition. I don't know if you guys you guys should enter it sometime. It's the international songwriting competition is the number one songwriting Ooh. competition. Oh, okay. Okay. And like, just submit, yeah, like submit your stuff and um, just to kind of the, the, and yeah, there's prizes and stuff, but like regardless, like um, the song that won second will be a future release. Hey. Oh, nice. You heard it here first. Yeah, you did. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. So <laughs> it, it, it's uh, in the process of like release party planning type thing. Mm -hmm. Release all right. Party <laughs> but uh, for now, you all can listen to my latest album that dropped in March. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> we, we love that. We love that too. We love promoting our friends' music. That's what it's all about. Also, um, congratulations on the you got music. <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> congratulations. Like I love. I love that I actually know people in it now. <laughs> like, yeah. 
<laughs> like for anybody that's listening, uh, yeah, you got to vote for Hannah and us. So uh, definitely for the next round. <laughs> yes, yes. Next round, starts, uh, I think next round of voting starts June 13th. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Right? Okay, June 13th. Yeah. June 13th. So, so, yeah. Somewhere. <laughs> it's cool that we're in it, you know, now with a friend, you know what I mean? We're we're in this, you know, we're in this together, even though, yeah. you know, yeah. It's awesome. Like, it, 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 Amen. It, 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 yeah. It's Amen. Amen. And, like, I mean, if anything, like, I just love that we're able to iron sharpens iron, you know? Yeah. That's, yep. that's how I see it. It's like, you want you want to rise your brothers and sisters up, right? So, yeah, I don't, I don't even, I don't even think of it as, like, competition i think right. of it as an opportunity to evangelize and mm -hmm. to, to put more of an awareness to like our brothers and sisters like yo you talented like right so much and that's what we've been saying too like we and it's it's a beautiful thing because it's letting um a lot of different people know about many different christian artists that they might not you know yeah. people, mm -hmm. christian artists like our, ourselves a, pl a different platform for many different people and so I think that's a beautiful thing. And that's also part of the reason that we've been writing with a lot of our, um, you know, beautiful Catholic brothers and sisters are, you know, who are musicians, because we really feel like that we need to have more unity as artists. You know what I mean? We need to like, work yeah. together more and push yeah. together because if we raise up the name of Jesus together, we can just raise it higher. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. There's so much beauty and there's so much beauty and truth in our faith that it's like, it's, it's, we just gotta, we just gotta, we got to band together and rise up together because there, there are a lot of us. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. All right. <laughs> like there are a lot of us. And like, I think if people, you know, have, have the strength and the courage to, to accept the truth and to just rise up with it, like Joan of Arc, then mm -hmm. let's go. Let's go. I, mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't want you guys to like, you know, rise up like, like a true woman, but like, you know, <laughs> Pick, well, we have pick, one. Pick the saint that, like, you know. <laughs> we have one in our, We have one in the group. So yeah, oh, we'll take it. <laughs> it keeps us balanced. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll take that for her. And we'll pass it along. You know? <laughs> okay, yeah. awesome. I want to do a, a shout out to Brian and John Wilbur. Thank hey. you guys. For doing hey guys, thank you guys. For doing God bless you guys. God bless you guys back. Love you guys. Thank you guys for supporting us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for hopping off. Mm. So, um, we are, man, every, everybody's like joining now. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they hear it afterwards. <laughs> no, I was going to say, I was going to say, because like we, we usually um, start ending around this time. Uh, and usually at uh, this time, even though we already did it, right, Ricky? You already asked uh, Hannah what she was going to come out with. <laughs> That's true. Well, yeah, I mean, do you have any other projects that you're working on? Um, like anything that you, or at least like, you know, anything in the works at all, you know, that you want to just yeah. like let people know about and whatnot to support? Thanks. Uh, probably just, I mean, a lot of a lot of prayer for open doors would be awesome just mm, especially, especially during i mean it's very hard to be a musician right now um because <laughs> our our in our life our lifeline is is live events and those are yes. not happening and i mean virtually they're happening but it's still a very different feel um so i'd say just like prayers for all i obviously for for the world prayer prayers for mm -hmm. all people but like you know, especially if you could do like a little special prayer for, um, you know, for 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 all of the musicians who are trying to evangelize about the Lord, you know, like it's 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 not easy. <laughs> it's not easy when the thing that you love to do just like, whoop. nope, mm -hmm. can't go, can't go meet new people. Hey guys, Francesca just commented. We were just talking. I about know, I did. Hey, Francesca. <laughs> hey, Francesca, nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> yes, it's awesome. Welcome awesome. <laughs> back. Hey, you. I mean, and it's awesome. Like you, and I know you guys. You were just saying that you guys have been writing together, and um, like I was saying before, like our light shines brighter together. You know what I mean? So like, mm. um, it's amazing uh, for you, Francesca. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for doing what you do. Hannah, thank you for doing what you do. Um, and just like that's that the name of the game is just building the kingdom together. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's all mm -hmm. that's all that we can 
strive and pray to do. And um, yeah, but uh, wait, are you I, you were just saying you were sorry. I think you were just saying about like supporting and and kind of praying for for your mission during this time and whatnot. Um, I got distracted by Francesca. Francesca <laughs> I didn't even answer. I'm trying to remember what I was talking about. I had a point. Um, well, well, oh, let me just get it. Okay. Um, yeah, I should probably say it before I forget again. So, um, <laughs> I just like something what I've been writing a lot of songs with Joe lately. So, mm, hopefully, yeah. okay. some of those will be surfacing. If not in the next okay. few months, then like hopefully awesome. in 2020, some at some point. So, um, just been a lot, a lot of, and, and just really, I really like am coming to know more people in this community. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, let's all write, let's create content, let's let's continue exactly come to, to come together. But I think that there will actually be some, you know, some songs mm -hmm. coming in the future. Come oh, on. For sure, for sure, totally, yeah. 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 That's it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. lastly, uh, and I'll repeat it again, you got some music. Uh, voting yeah. started on June 13th. Uh, vote for Hannah and for Epic the Band. Uh, <laughs> so we can, uh, yeah, move on forward. I think there's another, there's, there's another round, right? Trying to make it to the top five. Yeah, top yes, five. Totally. Yeah, so vote for us. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be new content. Okay. There's gonna be new content with the new round. So yeah, you guys will be seeing that soon. Um, <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first. This is true. You heard it here first. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love. I love the way you guys did your last video. It was so cool to just see all the moving parts of everyone coming together. I was like, whoa, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, this yeah. next video, we, we we socially distance in person, so <laughs> we just made it a little bit easier, but, but we know people will love it just the same. And uh, we just want to let everyone know who, whoever's coming on here or whoever's going to see this later, make sure you guys go support Hannah, Hannah Schaefer, um, with, with all that she's doing, with all that she's doing to build the kingdom and all her ministry. Um, where can they find you, Hannah? You can find me anywhere. Uh, <laughs> <there you go. laughs> right now. Anywhere, turn around. I'm just kidding. That's weird. <laughs> Twitter. I'm, I'm not really on Twitter that much. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Guys, oh. All I right. have, I've been doing these things called Jesus Jingles, and oh, okay. really very cool. Really, okay, really fun. But I only do them on TikTok, and <laughs> but anyhow. So so uh, you know, Hannah Schaefer, S C H A E F E R. Um, and I'm trying to think any other platforms. I mean, my website, hannahshafermusic.com. I just released my first full length album in March. So mm. all y'all have to go have a kitchen dance party. And yeah. yes. um, it's just kind of my, my, the whole album is a journey of self, of, self, of my self discovery and my identity in Christ. And yeah. uh, that is literally it. Like if you listen to it from the top to bottom, you'll kind of get this sense of, of identity. So. Amazing. Amen. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Hannah, thanks again for joining us. Uh, honestly, it's been an honor to have you with us. And hold on a second. We're going to say bye to everybody. So, God bless. See you guys. And we'll see you in the Love next. Uh, see you. Bless everyone. Stay safe and many blessings. Aww.